Hi, welcome to Splash and Go. Nate Ryan here with Dale Jarrett and DJ the 70th running of the Southern 500 this weekend. Also the first running of this race since the death of David Pearson last November. So that'll be celebrated at, along with the 70th running of one of the most historic races in NASCAR this weekend at Darlington Raceway. Yeah, it's just a trophy that every driver wants. It's such a difficult racetrack. And, and to think that how this all got started uh, with so many cars and running all over on the apron, on the banking, <laughs> uh, it's just crazy. That Most of them are gonna be on the banking this weekend, uh, but it, it's such a fun weekend for everybody to get involved. With the throwback, uh, we're looking, I think the years are 90 to 94, Mm -hmm. uh, this time and to see some of the the paint schemes are fun the teams really get involved with this the drivers enjoy this as a weekend but I think that more than anything else is that opportunity to have that trophy and say that you won the Southern 500. Yes yeah, 75 cars started that first race in 1950 yeah. won't be quite as many this Sunday but there are some big names that have yet to win this race let me give you the, the list of, of guys who are still looking to win at Darlington Joey Logano Kyle Larson Kurt Busch Chase Elliott, Clint Boyer, anybody out there maybe jump out at you and think hey, that could be a guy this weekend breaks through. Yeah, you can add my name to that list too. And I'm not <laughs> try, but it, uh, you know, I think you look at, at Kirk Bush. Uh, that's somebody that, that you look at and think about that, how close he came with, mm -hmm. with everything. And, and I, just, I just look at that. He's a driver that, that's really, really good uh, on these type of tracks. All right. Uh, David Pearson, we mentioned his name. Uh, first time in a long time, obviously, th this race is run. He's a South Carolina native without him being with us anymore. W what do you think he meant to th the history of, of Darlington Raceway as a Southern Car South yeah. Carolina native? I think that when you think about Darlington, David Pearson is the name, especially to drivers, that, that he's the name, he's the driver that you think of. Everybody wants to be like him there. Uh, very few, if any, have even come close over the years. Uh, he just was a master of, of this racetrack. It was partly because of his style, partly because of the skills that he possessed that others didn't have that ability to, to do that. He won with the best car, and he won many races uh, not having the best car. He, he was just so good. So uh, I, I think it's... You know, we, we hate that he's not going to be there and be a part of this uh, 70th uh, year and, and running of the Southern 500. But I think uh, Ricky and Larry and, and Eddie, his sons, are going to be there uh, as a part of all of this. And, it, you know, every time that I ever thought about going there, I, I tried to think about what did David Pearson do in this situation? How did he do it? And that was always in, in the back of my mind. Yeah, and certainly this weekend will be a celebration of, of not just him, but of, of the history of NASCAR. There'll be a lot of Hall of Famers there. The Labonte brothers will be there. Uh, you mentioned the, the Pearson family as well. And uh, the celebration uh, for the throwback era this weekend, as you mentioned, 1990 to 94. So I'm wondering in, in Dale Jarrett's life, 1990 to 94, some significant mile markers are first cup win at Michigan in 91, first Daytona 500 win in 93, so. Yeah, special time for me, and I think Corey LaJoy is actually, actually going to run a paint scheme that was like my uh, Xfinity car in 90 and 91 that was spot, uh, sponsored by Nestle Crunch. We were very popular because they had their ice cream there, too, in the garage area, so a lot of people dropped by our truck a lot uh, during <laughs> that, but but the car looks great, and it was a time that, you know, I was running my own race team, and, and then got the opportunity to drive for the Wood Brothers in the Cup side of it, got that win at Michigan in 91. So a lot of good things happen. And then helping Joe Gibbs Racing uh, get his uh, start in the Cup Series, uh, which actually the first year was 1992 uh, in doing that. So uh, a lot of fun memories uh, during that time. And uh, I think that we're going to see even more things as we get there that are going to spark some memories of, of uh, paint schemes and drivers that, that we haven't even thought about. Well, there's also uh, uniforms or maybe costumes. I know that <laughs> You and, and Kyle Petty and Chris Devoto, of course, were, were always dressed up in that garb, whether it was the Miami Vice style of the 80s. Yes. Do, you get, do you know yet what you'll be wearing for the 90s no, and 94 era? No, I do not. Era? It's a surprise, and, and sometimes that's a little dangerous in leaving those surprises <laughs> to other people's hands in our wardrobe department. But it's always fun yeah. uh, and, and entertaining, and, and I think that we look forward to it as much as, as everybody else does in, in getting involved, and, and you know, especially in getting to a time that's a, a lot closer to what some of these drivers, even though they're very young, <laughs> might remember a little bit about what was happening in the early 90s. All right, well, a lot to tune in and watch for this weekend, including what DJ will be wearing with Krista and Kyle on NASCAR America. Uh, be, sure to, be sure to watch NASCAR America daily, 5 p.m. Eastern on NBCSN as well. Thanks for watching. Splash and go.